Hello everyone, this is Dr. Zaidi. Welcome to my YouTube channel, ZTube. In this video, I'm gonna discuss a single product cost volume profit analysis. So let's discuss what is the cost volume profit analysis. Cost volume profit analysis basically discusses the behavior and relationship among cost volume and profit. What it means is that it identifies the break-even points, the profit regions, and losses. It focuses on how profits are affected. If you increase the selling price, if you decrease the selling price, how profits are affected when the sales volume goes up or down. If you get a quantity discount and reduce your unit variable cost, or when the... Uh, the raw material becomes more expensive because of shortage and the variable cost per unit goes up. Also, what happens if the total cost, fixed cost goes up or down? Or if you are dealing with a multiple product, what happens if the mix of the product changes? All right. So in this video, we are not going to focus on the product mix, but what we are going to focus on the cost volume profit analysis for single product which means how cost and volume affects the profitability. The increase and decrease in the cost affects the profit of the product or increase and decrease in the volume of production or the volume of sales affect the profitability of a product. So there are some assumptions that we need to keep in mind when we perform cost volume profit analysis. First of them is that, that the revenue and costs are linear, right? What it means is that, that you are not increasing the selling price of a product or decreasing a selling price of a product as you sell more or less unit or as the demand goes up or down, right? Similarly, the same thing is with the cost that you're not getting a quantity discount or the prices are not increasing. That's how they're going to be linear if it stays constant, if anything happens, if you get a quantity discount or if the revenue, um, you know, uh, selling price increases or decreases, then it doesn't stay linear anymore. It becomes curvilinear. So we need to avoid that. So one of the assumptions of cost volume profit analysis is that that revenue and costs are linear. And then the second one is that the revenue and cost can be accurately divided into variable and fixed elements it means that you should be able to clearly distinguish when you analyze the account, you should be able to figure out that what is variable and what is fixed. If you are unable to um, uh, find out the variable and fix or separate them out, then you won't be able to um, uh, find a cost volume profit analysis or draw a graph of cost volume profit analysis. If, or if you if you are able to draw a graph, that's not going to be a true depiction of what's happening in the company. Selling price variable costs per unit and total fixed costs remains constant within the relevant range. So this ties back to number one, revenue and costs are linear. So if selling price is constant, that's when the revenue um, is going to be linear. If variable cost per unit is linear, that's uh, cost per unit is constant. That's when the costs are going to be linear. If total fixed cost is constant within the relevant range, that's when the costs are going to be linear. If, if it changes, if the price, selling price is increasing, decreasing, or variable cost per unit increasing or decreasing, or fixed cost is moving to the next level, then it doesn't stay linear anymore. So it has to be constant within a relevant range. Number of units produced is equal to number of units sold means you're not producing for inventories, you're not piling up inventories because what happens when you start producing for inventories, as you produce more and more units, your fixed cost is not increasing within the relevant range and it decreases your uh, total cost per unit, right? To, for production or fixed cost per unit declines. So that can affect your cost volume profit graph. Selling price and costs are assumed to be known with certainty that you know what is the selling price and you know that what are the costs. If you are unable to find out what's the selling price and what's the cost are, you are not gonna be able to draw a cost volume profit graph, okay? For multi-product, your sales mix should be constant. When we discuss our sales mix, um, um, 
uh, in a multi-type fraud or cost volume profit analysis in another video, you can see what it means by sales mix has to be constant for a multi-type fraud. Okay, so let's move on to the total sales graph. Total sales graph looks like just like a total variable cost graph. If you remember, if, if you have watched my other video, total variable cost increases as the activity level increases. It means it was the it, it has a direct relationship with uh, the quantity produced. Similarly, total sales has a direct relationship with the quantity sold or the unit sold. The more units you sell the higher is going to be your total sales. So this graph depicts that relationship and the table provides that when you're selling zero unit, your total sales is zero. As you sell more and more units, your total sales is increasing. And the graph shows that too. When you sell one unit, you have $10 in total sales. When you sell two units, it becomes 20, three, and 30. So total sales graph is, is the upward sloping graph, okay? Then a review from your um, cost behavior analysis, if you have watched my videos about that, that the total variable cost graph looks like total sales graph, as you can see in graph number one here, as you sell more and more units, your total uh, cost is, total variable cost is increasing again, and the slope is increasing slope here. Whereas the total fixed cost graph as a horizontal, a straight line within a relevant range, total fixed cost does not increase when the activity level increases. So when you produce this level of activity, this level of activity, or that level, 100, 200, 300, 500, within a relevant range, it's not going to increase, okay? So then we are going to combine total variable cost and total fixed cost graphs together to make a total cost graph. Total cost is basically your total variable cost plus total fixed cost. So we combine those two graphs. So total fixed cost right here, and then your total variable cost is starts at the intercept where your total fixed cost line meets y-axis, right, on the y-intercept. So that becomes total cost because this portion right there from between total fixed cost and total cost between those two red lines is your total variable cost and anything below total fixed cost to the unit line or the horizontal line of a quantity is your total fixed cost. So this is a combination of two graphs. Now in cost volume profit analysis, we combine those graphs. So first you saw sales graph in the previous slide. Now you saw total cost graph. Now we are going to combine those two graphs, the sales graph and the total cost graph to make a cost volume profit graph. So this was the sales graph that we had in one of my slides. So sales is increasing as the quantity sold is increasing. This was a total cost graph from my previous slide here, upward sloping total cost. Okay, now we're going to combine this total cost and sales graph to make cost volume profit graph or break even graph. So look at this, so total fixed cost and total cost. This is the same graph right here and then sales sales line starts from origin because in this graph the sales graph the line is started from origin so we combine them where the sales line meets the total cost that part is known as a break even point this is the point where company's profitability is zero you are neither losing money nor making money right your profit is zero that point where sales intersect total cost is your break even point okay so in next graph this will look clearer uh, so you can see here here your total sales is meeting your total cost so that point is known as a break even point on the horizontal axis this will give you break even point in units on the y-axis, it will give you a dollar figure, break-even point in dollar. What it means is that a break-even point in unit will provide you how many units you need to sell in order to reach the break-even point. Do you have to sell 10,000 units, 12,000 units, 50,000 units? It provides you the quantity you need to sell in order to reach the break-even point. On, on a y-axis, break-even point in dollar, it gives you a dollar figure. How much dollar sales do you have to make in order to reach break-even point? Do you have to make a million dollar sales, $2 million sales, $10 million sales? So this will 
provide you, your y-axis will provide you in dollar terms. What dollar sales do you have to make in order to reach that break-even point? So anything above that break-even point is the profit region. So you can see here the green, um, you know, um, writing here, it says profit. Anything, because this is beyond your break-even point right there. So this is a profit region. Anything that is below that break-even point is a loss region. So you will lose money if you sell any unit below this break-even point. And you will make money if you sell any unit above uh, the break-even point. So that is our cost volume profit graph. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe my channel for live updates.